So, hello and good afternoon, everyone. So, welcome to everyone currently in our live trading room, and a big welcome to everyone currently watching through the live stream channel. Today, we have a special guest, Mr. Christian Scherholz. Hello, everybody. Hope you're doing well. And of course, myself, Maurice Rothwell, English trading coach here at Traders Club 24. So <clears throat> we're here today for our special live trading day webinar on NFP trading strategies. So. Exactly. Before we start, um, yeah, I hope you're doing all good. Um, what is the sound quality? Maybe you can give us just a quick feedback, everybody, to see if uh, sound quality is good. Because today, special day, we are doing just a, yeah, we, we are teaming up, Maurice, don't we? That's not just you and the market, not just you and the market opening. It's some. We have the special I'm knowledge from you, Christian. Looking what, what you're trading. <laughs> Okay, so sound is good. LT, Gary, I think the sound is echoing. All right, maybe that's... Maybe from the room or... Should be the room. Sorry about that. I hope it's not as bad as it sounds. Um, I'm just trying to adjust my mic a little bit closer. Um, yeah, there's also Mike in here. Hello, Mike. Um, Gary, hello. There's Wolfgang. There is Mike uh, C. There is Mike B. Um, and um, Greg also. Greg, hello, exactly. So a couple of club members, but guests alike. Um, I see a few hello. new faces too. Hello from from Ireland, from Dublin. Oh, good stuff, good stuff. Okay, brilliant. Um, yeah, Maurice. Um, two a uh, two p.m. today, so we are starting a little bit early because it's a special trading day. So what do we Indeed. have to expect today? So it's a special trading day today. I'm um, not sure if many of you know, but today is NFP day. All right. What is NFP day? So NFP day is named after the news announcement, non-farm payrolls released in the US. So traditionally, non-farm payrolls day, NFP day, was set as a big trading event. So at the, at the announcement of the news, there was always a lot of volatility in the markets so today we thought we would make a special webinar explaining a bit about how to trade this this special volatility and exactly how we do here at traders club and hopefully open your eyes to see absolutely. a new kind of strategy absolutely. nfp used to be a huge event a huge event and remember working back in canada for a very popular broker and that broker was afraid of NFP, afraid because every time the server broke down and that happened for a couple of years continuously until they figured it out. So good for them. Um, what do you think about the last NFP announcement, Marie? So it's not as big as it used to be in the past because we all know the interest rates, they are down yeah. and there is no intention, intention from the Fed that they are going to increase the interest rates. Or decrease. Uh, this this month surely not this month not next month not for this foreseeable future months. anyway right so which is nfp day recently hasn't been the biggest event i remember even just a couple of years back uh, nfp day was very very volatile indeed ah all right uh, okay all, all good I, just Sorry about that. Christoph, our colleague, was coming in. Christoph, he's some sort of the film director here, and he's monitoring that we are doing our job from a technical point of view in a in a, in a good quality way. So, um, yeah, I was just seeing a question coming in here. Yeah, we are recording this session live, so no worries. Okay. Yeah, NFP, sorry. NFP used to be big. Used to be big. But... The, the recent, especially this year, has not been uh, that great. Of course, there was a big, big drop at the beginning of the virus where a lot of people lost their jobs. So, of course, that did have an impact on the market, which if you look back through the charts, you can see um, the beginning, beginning of last year between sort of January and March, there was a huge decline across, across the board, really. Right. Um, however, we, you know, I think the world is getting used to living like this at the moment, and every bit of news is coming out. So, you know, we want to get everyone prepared 
for the future of NFP Day. Absolutely, absolutely. There's a light at the end of the tunnel and that's what you're looking for. And today the forecast is very positive when it comes to the NFP numbers. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like, or, or the so-called trading experts, um, they are looking at a number of um, slightly above 1 million new added jobs over the last four weeks in America, which would be a very, very strong sign for the economy. Um, of course, that's going to raise some inflation fears, but again, the Fed has no intention of rising the interest rates right now. Okay, so over the next two hours, Maurice, what what can we expect from you, from the market? So what can we expect from the market? Over the next two hours, of course, we're going to be showing, um, first of all, we're going to be explaining a bit about trading and how to trade this time of the month. And also we're going to see the market opening the nfp announcement um there's going to be a lot in store and then we're going to explain a bit more into what happened after we've made some trades and um yeah we'll take on some questions during during that time too yeah so it will be a mix between live trading we do have a powerpoint presentation introducing you the very unique swiss box trading strategy mm -hmm. so it should be very interesting to us i guess Yes, I hope so for I you. I hope so. I hope so. Absolutely. <laughs> Brilliant. Good stuff. Okay. So um, let me just open up the... Can you see? Yes, you can. So when we talk about trading uh, NFP day, there's a few different trading strategies in general. However, the main trading strategy for trading this news event would be breakout trading. As we see the news announcement, we usually see a very big breakout in the market. As if you're used to looking at any charts, a breakout is when the market price goes up or if it comes shooting down, that's what we're looking for at any given time. Yeah, absolutely. So you can actually look out for breakout trading when you, when you do not know the outcome of a trade. And mm -hmm. most of the times, or actually every time you get into a trade, you do not know what's happening over the next couple of moments so but especially during nfp during the market opening of the dex mm -hmm. the FTSE, um or the the nasdaq the dow jones and all the markets alike um there are specific times when that volatility is going to increase or where, where it's very likely that mm -hmm. it's going to increase and, and during these special uh, market situations we are going to use our very special um, open range breakout trading strategy and it's called Swiss box trading. Swiss box trading and the na name relates back to um, when the Traders Club 24 was founded back in Switzerland 2009. Um, so and that's the reason why the tool is called Swiss box. Um, that's pretty much it. So and we are using the Swiss box tool, which by the way, is an add on for the MetaTrader 4 trading platform. Um, and we are going to use this tool for placing specific order lines for setting a trap in the market. Right, Maurice. Yes. So when we are trading, uh, like Christian said, when we're trading the NFP, we're trading pretty much, it's an exclusive uh, breakout trading time. So we're, we're expecting the markets to break out. Um, either way, when a breakout occurs, nobody knows in which direction it's going to occur. We can make a very good guess in which direction by looking at charts, by looking at the diagrams, the volatility, a number of different things. However, at the end of the day, nobody can tell you for sure in which direction the market will go. So that's why Traders Club had made a trading tool called the Swiss Box. So the Swiss Box, let me just switch over the slide. <clears throat> so if we look at a market chart over here, we can see a typical a candle chart from what we would see in the market. Now with the Swiss box, what we're doing is we're not trading any direction per se. We are just trading the volatility. So it's very important that when we're using the Swiss box that we're, we're waiting for these certain times of day, like a market opening, a big news event like the NFP um, to trade with the Swiss box. So, <clears throat> Taking a look at the diagram here, we see that the the candles in the in the chart are on their way down. And let's take this red line here as an example of a strong supporting line. 
yeah so those of you who know a strong supporting line is where we would expect the market to come down and bounce back up from an area if we had seen that it had done this beforehand so in every idea you would expect the market to bounce back up however we never know as this would be sort of a breakout formation this is coming to a point of interest in the market so when we set this trap we can see this darker shade trap box here we are actually setting a trap for the market to enter and depending on which direction the market is going to break out from that trap is depending in which direction we are going to be trading the market yeah one one specific sorry maurice no. one specific price level we are very keen in trading here in our live chain rooms is the so-called big number so that's when the market is I'm just looking at the Dow Jones here on my other screen. So that's approximately 34,000, 34,200, 34,300, 400, and so on. And for the DAX, 15,000, 15,100, 200. Mm -hmm. So whenever the market comes to these specific price levels, and we know that um, there is an area where the price is likely, very likely not to stay over the next couple of, of minutes. So it's either breaking breaking through or it's bouncing back. Both ways are absolutely fine with us, but um, as long as we have identified such a price level, that's where we are going to set our trap, exactly. Exactly, so we're always looking for these areas, these points of interest in the market, such as big numbers, um, a bit for the more advanced people, support and resistance line, even further advanced, looking for certain chart formations, breakout formations. Um, so I think we're ready for the next one here. If we just go through the through the steps here, as you can see, the, where the trap was set, we've now had the candles which have moved moved down towards our trap area. So now the price is in within that trap range. <clears throat> now the next step would be as soon as the market would move into our trap. We then have two pending orders set. So we have an we actually have a pending order set at the top of this trap and a pending order set at the bottom. Now, for those of you who don't know what a pending order is, it is it's pretty much us saying, okay, if the market comes up to this level, I want to trigger into a buy. If the market comes down to this level, I want to trigger a sell. That is a pending order. Very simple. Now as we're waiting for the market to move out of this, of course, the two pending orders are set. And as soon as the market moves out of that trap, it will trigger one of those pending orders. Move back over. So here's the two pending orders, the green line. So the green line is a buy stop pending order and the sell line is a sell stop pending order. So technically, when we're looking at this, it doesn't matter which direction the market is going. So in which direction the market is going is not important to us at all it's just important or very very important that the market is going in a direction so up or down what we definitely want to avoid is a ranging market a ranging market again is kind of like what you see just here before it enters the box we see the market just moving sideways in a very small range so let's go to the next so we'll go for the next step in the sequence. So here's example one. We see the market come down. It comes into our trap and our two pending orders are set. Exactly. So we let the market decide in mm -hmm. which direction it wants to trade. We are not. So the opposite of a pending order would be a market order. And keep in mind, a market order is or you're going to use a market order whenever you want to enter the market right now where it's the next available market price. So you need to be right about your trading decision where the market's going to rise or fall. If you're going to use a pending order, you'll somehow shift your decision towards the market. And again, as long as the market is not trading in that range, that's absolutely fine with us. So you're going to show us, or we are going to, to trade the NFP a bit later and, and oh, actually in 15 minutes time. In 15 minutes time, okay. <laughs> and, so. and, 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 the, and the US market opening as well. But it is crucial to mention that when we are placing our pending order lines, it is not working if we are going to set the trap just blindfold, blindfolded. Mm -hmm. Blindfold. Um, Blindfold. Absolutely. At, at, at 
at, at a level or price level out of the blue. So that's not going to work. We need to have specific signals to have a statistical advantage for this kind of trading strategy. Points of interest. Points of interest. Yes. Absolutely. So, so we've got 15 minutes, as you said. But I like what you said about market orders. A uh, big mistake which people will make, they'll see the market going one way. They see it moving up and they want to make a buy. And then by the time they make the buy, the market comes straight back down. So, and vice versa, sell orders exactly the same. Anyway, so with the Swiss box here, we can see as the market's moved up above our green line, we can see that it's actually triggered our first trade. And as soon as that first trade is triggered, we have a take profit automatically set into the chart. Now a take profit is a, is a line or it's a price guide that is, we're telling the market as soon as the market reaches this price line, that it's going to close our trade with the profit on top. Um, so let's go through the scenario. Of course, we can see here the market, what it's done, it's gone past our first buy line. It's triggered our buy. The take profit is in the chart. However, as we know, the market does as it wants. And if the market comes straight back down, what is going to happen? Of course, oh, actually, this one didn't yeah. do. <laughs> I thought it was going to go through the example. So anyway, as we can see, the market comes back up, goes through the goes through the buy stop order and directly past our take profit. Now, as soon as it goes past that take profit, again, like I said, it's going to close the trade down and that's you having successfully closed or made a trade in profit. So that's example one. So let's go for the example two. So as we can see, the market came down. It's come down to the red line. As soon as it's come to the red line, we've opened up a sell position and the take profit is now at the bottom of our screen. And as I was saying before, the market does as it wants and we can see the market has then gone straight back up through the chart again past our buy stop order. So what happens as soon as that happens? We actually have another trade pending at that line waiting for us. Exactly. There's just a question coming in for, from Jonathan. All right. So Jonathan, if the market is going to reverse by 180 degree, so we are going to have two trades open. So we are not going to close the first trade. There's a mm -hmm. camera. We're not going to close the first trade because the market, especially trading the market opening NFP and, and, and other trading signals, the market can act very fast. So our tool, the Swiss box, it's going to open up uh, a couple of trades simultaneously for you. So always protect it on both sides. If the market's going to shoot up, you have a buy stop order. If the market's going to come down, you have a sell stop order. If the market's going to reverse, um, it is the intention, the intention of, or the logic of that trading strategy that you are going long and short simultaneously at the same time. But please note that the box size, or uh, sorry, the position size of each trade is slightly different. And it is different because we would like to make sure that the take profit is at a very stable level. Um, so if you are just assuming that you're in the fifth trade, um, if you would not change the position size, then your take profit will be farther and farther and farther away by each trade. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess, or maybe we are going to see it in a couple of minutes, but um, we, we talked very intensively with our club members about it. Uh, and we asked him, all right, how would you like to solve that mathematical equation? And um, so we agreed on increasing the position size and having a stable, a fixed take profit rather than working with, with the same position size, mm -hmm. but having the take profit moving farther away. Yes. Because that's not impulse trading. That's not, um, yeah, that's not impulse trading anymore. It's a very rule-based uh, trade is. system. So yeah, sorry for going through it a bit too quick. Christian <laughs> has to pull it back a bit. So as we can see, <clears throat> like he was saying, the mathematical equations that are attached to the Swiss boxes. So we have a range here in this trap. So between this green line and the red line, each market is different and has a slightly different range between the two lines, right? Um, and each time that we trigger a new trade, the, the, the next trade in the sequence is always a slightly bigger trade than the last. And the reason for this is that we need to be able to guarantee that we're going to hit our 
desire take profit, which is a pre-set take profit in a certain amount of points. So we can actually set our Swiss box to say, okay, I want to be able to gain X amount of um, percent from this trade, but I want to close the trade within 10 points either side of my box. So if we imagine this take profit is what half the size of this box, let's say this box is 10 points between the two lines and the take profit is five points away. Now, no matter which direction our trade is, is going, our take profit will always be five points away from either side of that box. So this is the mathematical equation which the Swiss box is solving um, instantly. Um, is near enough impossible for any one person to go through and make the calculation Probably. in time enough to to yeah. make the trades. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Maurice, I'm just getting a question here. You said the box line, for instance, 10 points. Yes. Um, so it's not like um, it's not like you can choose your box size. So every market has a specific yep. box size. Uh, can you give us an example? So. Yes, we can go through an example. We talk about big numbers and we talk about market sizes, as you heard Christian say. Um, the Dow Jones currently at 34,000 at the moment and the DAX is currently just above 15,000. Of course, there are two different prices in the market and they have yeah. two completely different volatility attached. So whether the Dow Jones might move um, 250 points in a day, something like the DAX might only move 120 points in a day. So you know, every market has its own uh, so-called personality in the way that it moves and the, you know, the distance that it will move throughout the day so that the distance is the range of the day. Yeah, yeah. And every, and, and again, Jonathan, the box size, or our recommendation of the box is pretty much fixed for each market. Mm -hmm. So we are going to, to, to show to you on the, on the, on the, on the MetaTrader, but um, as Maurice just said, the box size of the, the distance between the pending order lines um, varies from the DAX to the gold to the NASDAQ to Dow Jones. Mm -hmm. But any, any numbers? What, what is your recommendation, Maurice? Or so the Dow Jones, for instance? For my the way that I trade, I'm a little bit more aggressive than some other people or from the rest of the, everyone here at Traders Club 24. I'm a bit younger, you see. And, you know. <laughs> that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> So, um, you know, my, my box size for something like the Dow Jones would be uh, 20 points. Whether if we're looking towards a more traditional way of trading with Traders Club, it would be a box size of around 30 points. Same on a, on a market such as the DAX. So the DAX would be traditionally a, uh, a box size of 15. Whether I use a box size of maybe 12 and a half or 13 points. Um, yeah, so it's... It, different styles of trading using the same strategy. And again, we have, I also have members that trade different size boxes to all of us. They might, I might have a 20 size box on the Dow Jones. Christian has 30 points, but I have members who might have, want to have 28 points. And you know, it's all about practice in the markets and, yeah. and learning yeah. how to execute to it To start yourself. with, so if you're a club member, if you're a new guest and trying out our trading strategies on a risk-free demo account uh, for 30 days. So we do have a clear recommendation of the, of the box size of each different market. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then if you're totally correct, if you're more experienced, you can go ahead and you can, you can change the box size. If you have a feeling, if you have developed a feeling for the market and you know that today the volatility might be a little bit higher than usual or on the, on the other way around, then you can adjust your box size a bit smaller, like 20 points, but 20 points is for the Dow is, the very absolute lower. minimum. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for saying that. All right. All right. But I like to live on the edge. So. <laughs> the my members see me trading every day, so they enjoy it too. Um, however, so an example of a breakout. So here we've got actually a forex chart. Uh, we got yeah, we got a little bit of time. So here's a forex chart: euro, US dollar. Um, so as we can see here. Um, we have the time frames from 12 o'clock until 8 o'clock in the morning and we can see that this, this market's in a bit of a range. We can see it hitting the same areas and, and reversing from those areas. So you, you could call it a range, you could call this a, a resisting area and this a, a supporting area. Again, it's confirmed by the amount of times that the market is bouncing off of those 
two areas. And then <clears throat> a typical breakout, as we can see here, we see the market duck down below where that previous support was. And we can see it now doing the same, the, the same as it was doing before. It keeps hitting back off of that same level. And here we have a bit of, you could call it a high wedge at the bottom, typical breakout. And then as soon as it sort of packs itself into that tight corner, we see uh, we see a breakout throughout the chart. So this would be an area that we we as a usual as a traditional trader, you would want to do a, a lot more research into the market, what's going on fundamentally, like the news events of the, each country, um, and do a lot more strenuous research into what you think might happen. So here you might even say, okay, I think it's going to go down now, and you make a sell trade at this area. And as you can see, the market just goes the complete opposite way. So in these cases, you know, trading the markets traditionally can be sort of a 50-50 gamble. So that's what we're trying to, you know, exterminate from our strategy of trading. As we don't want to know the direction, we would love to know, but that's not, <laughs> that's not what we're looking for. That's not what we're trading for. We're looking for the volatility. We're looking for the big breakouts. And yeah, the Swiss box is how we do it. There's a few more examples here, typical breakout, as we can see. Um, so this is actually the DAX chart, uh, one of our big trading times of the day, 9 a.m. So it's a risk, the, yeah. Yep, so the, the European market opening, of course, that's where we see the collision of the two markets. We have a cash market from the morning and the futures market from the previous day. So they collide together at the market opening with the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. And when the two prices meet, they need to find that middle ground. And that's where we get that huge breakout usually up or down through the chart. So there's, of course, a big chance for us to trade. Yeah, I can ask everybody to have a look um, over the next couple of days and weeks, or even in the past, to look at that 9 a.m. market movement. It, it is just incredible. And sometimes it, ha it happens sharp at 9 a.m. Sometimes you have to wait for a minute, for two minutes, but there is a very, very high percentage that the market is going to make a very strong market move within the first moments after it's opening, after you can trade the shares like BMW, um, SAP, Linde, and, and the like. Um, so the market opening for the DAX, again, that is crucial for our club members and for the trading team here at Traders Club 24. With that opening, our, our trading day actually begins. So we've got the market opening coming in just, um, um, market opening, the NFP, yeah. I'm sorry. Well, let, let me just ask the guys here in the in the in the live trading room. Um, is that all right so far? Have you understood the logic or the idea that we are going to place a trap around a crucial point of interest, mm -hmm. around a crucial market level, and then we just we just let the market decide whether it wants to go up or down, and even if the first one or the second trade is a fake out, so mm -hmm. the market is going to reverse again. That's, that's absolutely fine with us. We do not care. Should we show an example? Please go ahead. Yeah? Absolutely. So I'm just going to pull over my MetaTrader 4 into the chart at the moment. Just let me get it in. So here is the MetaTrader 4. Some of you might be familiar with it. Some of you may not. However, it they is the same idea as what we were just explaining. But, yeah. So if somebody is not familiar with MetaTrader, please do right give in. us a heads up. Um, oh. Let us know and we can we can set up a call next week. We do have a couple of videos on hand and uh, we are more than, more than happy to help you with a great trading platform. It's not the not the most modern trading platform, but no. it's like a like a VW Beetle. So there's a German saying and it runs, it runs, it runs. So it's MetaTrader just like that. And in case you're wondering if our trading tools are available on the MT5, um, the answer would be not yet, but as soon as our partner brokers like Markets or GBE, as soon as they are going to cancel the MetaTrader 4, they're going to give us a heads up and then we are able to provide you the training tools as well. So, sorry, three seconds to go, two seconds, one second, and NFP numbers are now coming in. So, as we said, bang on at the at the opening or the release of that news we see the market move 
<clears throat> and this is our Swiss box in the corner. So if we turn the lines on, we get those two lines as we were explaining by order and the cell order. So we want to set a trap right here is our goal. So this area right here is is what we call a volo box. It's it's planning or showing us areas in the chart again points of interest for us to place such a trap for the market now we're a little bit late for getting in there um, unfortunately <clears throat> however as you can see we've got the volo box which would have now been a successful trade and there's also one of these big number trades which you can see here too Oh, the market is very, very fast indeed. Let's just one second. So we have to say that we are doing this live trading session here in a different room. So we are not on our personal computers, but on a different one. Yes. Um, the non-farm payrolls, guys, if so, just to let you know that it's not a recording here. Uh, this is live. So numbers are out. Uh, 266,000 new jobs have been created in the last month. So that's way below, way below the million. Um, so again, it tells you that the forecast of the so-called trading experts, uh, they're way off. Um, again, 266,000 new jobs have been created to the US economy in the month of April. Um, so I can tell you by looking on my other charts that Dow Jones is Tank, it's tanking, it's coming down, uh, and quite oddly, the Nasdaq is going up. So yes. maybe you have the Dow Jones. I've got the Nasdaq the... open on my chart. So um, here we've actually got the Nasdaq, so the the US top um, 100 tech firms. Yeah. Um, and as we see right there at the NFP, we got a huge, huge breakout right there. So we actually missed a couple of chances, as we can yeah. see. I've set another. I've set one here, of course, a bit late. So we're about to enter into our next trade or yeah. our first trade, so to say, it's a bit messy. But could you so. show the Dow Jones for a second? Of course. That's of just course. a mismatch that NASDAQ is, so the tech stocks are going up sharply and on the flip side, Dow Jones. And we can set a trap here. Coming down. And it's, so we are going to talk about in, in a few moments about that green area so-called it's called the vola box and for us that's a trading signal we are going to take so maurice is currently trying to catch the yeah, market it's just the computers it, it usually happens every time i move to this computer i need <laughs> to then reload all of my charts brand new yeah. and set it all up once again as yeah sorry about that yeah, um, sorry everyone again from monday on Maurice, you're doing the power hour in the afternoon, every yes. day, shortly after three. Um, have a look and Maurice will be back at his uh, usual computer. So I would like to go through a quick example here. So here we see the market coming down into the trap. So as soon as it comes in, we actually have our two pending orders set. So now it's come in, we've got the two pending orders set and now it comes back through the bottom of our box and there it goes past the line and it triggers that trade for us and the blue line set in the chart is our take profit so now we're waiting for the market to to car carry on moving that direction so we actually just close the trade there yeah, we are out of the nasdaq good stuff see yes. again the big number is a price level statistical where the, any market does not want to trade around for a for a long period of time. So whenever the market gets to a big number, then <clears> we are <throat> setting our trap around that so point of interest. Here's a perfect example of that sort of reversal. Big number, again, supporting line, a point of interest. We see the market come down. It comes into our box, into our trap. It looks like it's going to carry on its course down through the chart and it triggers our cell at the red line. As we can see, it bounced off of this supporting area. And now the market has taken a turn back up through the chart, back past our green line, triggering our second trade. So as soon as it triggers the second trade, the take profit moves from the top to the bottom or from the bottom to the top, like you see here. And now we're currently in a third trade. Now, every time a new trade is, is triggered at one of these areas, we actually get a new pending order set at the opposite side. 
So <clears throat> as we can see, if we look in closely to our trades, we can actually see the individual trades and how they grow each time a little bit more in order to always end up in our desired profit. So it's in German again. Sorry to everyone. Um, we can change it. It's available yes, in English we can language. Change it. Yes. So it, this seal here percentage is actually the target percentage. So that is set at 0.076%. And that's a fixed target. However, if I would ever like to extend my take profit, I also have the ability to make use of a little bit more room and up my gains if I would like to. However, we recommend just keeping it at the same distance, especially within the first few trades. So, yeah, that was just a question here in the live chat. Um, yeah. If it is possible to adjust the blue line. Yes, of course. So we can adjust the blue line. We can actually adjust it closer manually, further away. We can also set it here. Again, this is maybe a bit going a bit too far, but I can actually set this to have a different take profit. So here it's a 0 0.076 and here I have a 0 0.05. So if I turn that on, we can see that it moves ever so slightly to take a different target or a desired um, take profit. So I'm going to keep it at the usual one. <clears throat> In the chart, we also have here two stop losses either side, these dotted red lines. So these are the, the, the safety features of our Swiss box. So these are there to protect us from ever going too far into a negative should things take a turn for the worse. Um, and yeah, as I said, that's the last, the last, um, defense for our, for our Swiss box. <clears throat> so we actually closed the trade already. Let's see if we can actually get another trade from the NASDAQ. So we still actually have what an hour until the opening now also. So of course on NFP day, we have the NFP announcement. It's like a double opening day for <laughs> a lot of breakout traders, especially for us. So we get a lot of opportunity. First of all, we get the big news announcement, especially today, the big predictions, not such a good follow through, but that's good for us. Yeah, definitely uh, a very interesting numbers market. So way off <clears throat> 1 million forecast of new jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, I see that you have the chart uh, of the gold AU, which is gold, oh, of course. Wow. Wow. All right. So here we okay. go. Okay. So this is gold XAU USD, a market that I think I'm the only person here that's trading. Yeah, you are. Yes, yes. you are. <laughs> so I'm a, I'm a big fan of gold. Uh, of course, we didn't trade it today on NFP, but every day on NFP, we usually get that big breakout from gold, especially um, as you know, if you don't know, so the US dollar is actually not tied to the price of gold um, as the US economy is was taken off of the gold spot way back when what was it the 60s? Could be <laughs> maybe many weird things happened in this. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> And uh, now the now the US dollar is based on debt. So when when we see the US dollar against gold, it's very volatile, especially at these big news announcements, because gold um, dollar is not heavily reliant on the price of gold at all. Yeah. So when you're trading gold, yeah. what is the box size the distance between the lies? So the box size is a lot trading. smaller. As we can see, um, I use a box size of 1.8 the market price just to get the gauge we can see that the price of gold right now yeah. is actually eighteen um thousand eight hundred dollars thousand eight hundred and thirty six dollars now if you compare that with the market such as um the dow jones here so the dow jones is thirty four thousand and the box size is 20. so if we go on gold and it's just eighteen thousand you know we're not going to use a box size of 20 even just now with that huge opening, we've got a huge spike here, but we can measure that out and that's 20, 20 points. So that would be the size of our box if we were to use it the same. So it would take you near enough forever to be able to get in and out of those box trades. Um, just taking a look back over. Yeah, that was close for, for the Dow Jones to get us out of the trade. Just Very missed close. the blue line. Oh, just missed. 
So, but no worries when the market is now coming down, doing a new daily low. So the sell pending orders already waiting. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, the box sizes are definitely the most important thing about trading with the Swiss box on different markets. As we were speaking about, each market has its own personality and that's reflective in the box size itself. Um, do we want to go into like how we figure out the box size or too technical? I think that might be too technical. Just looking <laughs> here constantly in the chat um, to see if there are any additional questions here. Um, so there's one from from George. Um, George is asking again about the green lines or the green zones here uh -huh. in the in the chart. W what is that? So these green boxes here in the chart, maybe we're going to go just a bit more clear. So these green zones here is something um, called a Vola box. So again, the Vola box is, a, is an even more exclusive trade radar that's attached with our Swiss box trading tool. Now our Swiss box trading tool is based on volatility trading, based on catching these special ranges and looking for breakout areas, points of interest from where a market is due to escape from. So the Vola box, if we go over to our Vola box screen, we can see that actually we have an overview of everything that's going on in our chart. So I can see exactly I've closed one trade today so far, as you all saw, there's 15 euros profit, 0.08% of my account. I can also see I have two active trades at this moment, and they're currently, of course, in a bit of a drawdown of half a percent. However, as soon as they come into profit, that's in profit. We also have one pending order. So a pending order is, where are we? Where is it? I don't know. So there's a pending order right there on our other NASDAQ chart. So we can actually close that. Um, the main thing about it is we get a radar. So this, this Vola box is actually going to tell us what's going on is there is there any active signals right now it's going to tell us exactly when the market is in so if we go here we can see the uk 100 we can see it's currently flashing yellow so if we click there it comes into our chart into our into our view and we can say okay look there it is inside one of our green vola boxes so what do we do we see we go and find the uk 100 market we click and there it is and then we can just click here and we can make a trade. However, the UK 100 is strictly a market that we trade in the morning. So we're not going to take that trade just now. That's just an example. And as you can see, the market's now outside of that box and it stopped flashing. So this is going to tell us right now we've got one on the DAX flashing. And then we can just click the DAX. It takes us to the chart. We go and find the DAX chart here. We see it's inside a box. We click this small circle here click the entry on and there is our trade set up. Now these Vola boxes, they are sort of the bread and butter of our trade, uh, our, of our daily trading with the Swiss box. We have different charts available. We have our opening trades every day, which are set on different charts, such as such Yeah, as we'll this. come to that. We'll, we'll come, come to that in a, okay. in, in, in a bit, George. We'll, so we do it. Okay. It's not just the green areas we do have. You just saw on the chart blue boxes as well. Mm -hmm. We'll come to that in a in a couple of moments. Okay. So. Yeah. So the <laughs> the main thing is that the Vola box is here and it's giving us suggestions of where to place our Swiss box in the chart, and they're very successful. I'm not just saying that because I work here, but <laughs> I use them quite often, and any one of our members can tell you inside the live trading room, um, the Vola box has not failed me as of yet, a Vola box trade. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, extremely, they're extremely reliable. Again, however, we must always double check our trades and see exactly what's going on, not to blindly follow any signals given by anyone not just by us but not to blindly make trades without first taking a look and saying okay is this an area that i want to make a trade how do i tell an area well 
that's yeah. what we're here to show you how to do. Yeah, and, and uh, to add on this, uh, so the Volabox is an alg algorithm um, and it's calculated on, uh, or, or, so it's displayed directly on the chart of your MetaTrader. Um, you just need to load the indicator, uh, which is a premium tool here at Traders Club 24. And as Marie just said correctly, whenever the market gets into the Vola box, we can go ahead and then we can place our trap around that box. And if you trade individually with a Swiss box, or um, if you're waiting for the Vola box, automatic trading signals in here, um, the box sizes are different. So there's a different box for the gold, different box for the DAX, different box for the UK 100, which is a FTSE or the Dow Jones. So it's not, yeah, every box size is, is very special and depends on the market and it's trading volatility. Yeah, speaking about volatility, so right now the Dow Jones is coming down a little bit. So after a massive drop here on that uh, very poor numbers, um, so far it's, it's looking to settle down around 34,500 points. Um, keep in mind, we do have the US market opening in 45 minutes time. And yeah, we can fairly expect the market of not to stay on this very level. I mean, the trading day hasn't or has barely begun mm -hmm. for, for the US market. So uh, we'll stick in that trade and we'll see in, in which way it develops. Right now we are long in the Dow Jones and short in the NASDAQ. In the NASDAQ. Gold is continuing oh, wow. to climb. Yeah. Great, great, great market as well. Okay. So we'll okay. Keep, we'll keep it in mind. Um, so we'll, let's yeah. come back over. Yeah. Yeah. Or let us know if there are any questions about the opening trades. Please put them here into the chat. But right now I do not see any, any questions. Um, all right. So that was the presentation, the introduction of the Swiss box. We do have something else to tell you um, because we thought that we use the opportunity of being here with you together this afternoon is um, yes, showing you not just a Swiss box trading, but we wanted to give you an overview about our personal trading day and about the other trading strategies as well. Because the Swiss box, as great as a tool it is, is very short term focused. Um, but we do know, Maurice, that there are a couple of club members or guests who or, or they are not able to to fully to be in front of the PC fully focused for 10 hours per day. Of and, course. We do not expect them to. Um, so if you ask us, we would say 90 minutes in the morning and 90 minutes in the afternoon, that would be three two, hours a day, three hours a day. Indeed. Yeah. So as, as you all know, everyone has their own personal lives. You know, people have different time frames. people work, people have different goals. Um, not everyone can be as lucky as us and have the free time to trade as we wish. Um, so yeah, that brings about more or less three different types of traders. You've got a short term trader who's trading similar to, to me in the live trading room, sort of in out making multiple trades throughout the day. You might have a sort of midterm trader again, similar as well, like Christian. So Christian's also doing these in and out trades, but he's also taking some longer term trades. And then you also have someone like, um, Carlos. So Carlos is our is our founder of, or well, he is the founder of the uh, of Traders Club Twenty Four, and he also likes to take these longer term trades, um, which we call um, daily strategy trades. Um, so they they can be sort of held over a period of a week, um, even longer in some cases. Uh, so for people that have different amount of time to invest the sort of longer term traders might want to focus on the daily strategy it takes around half an hour a day to see the signals come up into this into the charts and then you take the signals and then you just you can just leave them they have preset stop losses preset take profit areas and that's it and of course if you've got a bit more time to spend you can jump in and have a really good look at the charts and see what's going on and make some swiss box trades or we also have 
the master template X. Also the master correct? templates, yeah, on the M5 time frame. And again, for everybody uh, I see uh, who, who's asking, all right, can, can you give us an example of these trades? Yeah, we do have a, uh, a couple of slides um, showing you the other trading strategies as well within a minute or two. Okay, so, so I guess everyone understands more or less what the Swiss box trading tool or strategy is. Is there is there anyone who has any further questions at all? If or we can, that's all, all good, so understood, far. understood. Yeah, great, okay. Looks perfect. Like, Looks like it's fine. Okay. We explained it very well. <laughs> so okay, the next step about the Swiss box is is once you understand how it's working and how to, how how it kicks off the trades and takes the profit is looking to pinpoint these areas in which to place that Swiss box. Like any traditional trader, um, you're looking also for certain areas in the chart, points of interest where you would then take your, your trade long or short. So there's, we can move on to some uh, breakout formations here. So here's just an overview of a few examples of um, yeah, typical breakout formations, which you might be able to see in the chart. Um, so <clears throat> I think I know what one is Christian's favorite breakout formation. And I think it's uh, one here, C. <laughs> is it a head and it shoulders? It is C, C for Christian, exactly. <laughs> uh, so right now, um, so when it comes to Swiss box trading, you know, it can be time-based when you look at the market opening of the DAX or of the Dow Jones or NFP. It could also be signal based when you look at the signals of the Volar box, for instance, or it could be chart based, which is scenario number three, it's chart based whenever the market is coming at a big number, when it's trying to break through a support or resistance. And um, you can also add to the, to the chart trading philosophy that, and I expect that it's not the first time that you are joining here a webinar today. So you are already experienced, um, I assume, um, that you have been traded with some indicators, with some chart formations in the past. And when we talk about a double top, a double bottom, or a head and shoulder formation, or a flag, um, broadening, ascending, wedge, and, and so on and so forth, or Elliott waves, or Wolfel waves, or pop-ups, there are many chart formations, many, many trading strategies. The point is, that most of these strategies have a certain neckline. Again, it's a point of interest, as Maurice is saying, and you can go ahead and you can take this Swiss box and place it around these next lines. As on example now, see, it's the orange dotted line here. So in this example, we see a nice breakout, a pullback, and then the price is falling through on the bottom side. Um, when you study these trading books, when you go to webinars, um, it's always, it's made look very easy. Um, the different thing is when you sit alone on, uh, before, in front of your computer and you're alone. They don't alone, look as pretty as this. Exactly, it's not as pretty. Um, so when you, trading these chart formations can be, can be tough because usually the breakthrough is not happening within a, Within a, within a very second, and you have pullbacks, you have fake outs. So what I'm trying to say is, go ahead, use a Swiss box, place it, and then either market price is breaking through, all good, you're right in assuming that you have found a, a profitable chart formation, but if the price is doing a fake out uh, and it's reversing, going into the opposite direction, then you can still trade profitable using the Swiss box. Mm, that's the main idea behind the Swiss box trading tool is just for those exact times where, you know, any, any trader can tell you that's been trading long enough that, you know, it happens very quite often where you will make a trade and an assumption that the market is going one way and actually you're just following sort of like a fake out. Um, and yeah, it can go one way, you think it's going that way, you make a trade and it just sinks and goes the complete opposite direction. 
So um, yeah, these these this is where the Swiss box definitely comes in handy in trading these areas in these specific times of day as breakout formations. But um, yeah, if we come over to here, it will come over to the time-based breakout strategies. So the time-based breakout strategies, again, so we're very big on trading the market openings here. So the European market opening and the US market opening um, are sort of the main, the only two times of day where we're, we're focused on trading. Exactly. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, in the, of course, in the European opening, the markets that we're going to be trading are those that are in Europe. So the FTSE, which yeah. is the UK 100, we've got the DAX, which is Germany 30. You can also trade maybe a few Forex pairs. Absolutely, absolutely. So um, Euro dollar um, the cable, which is a British pound US dollar, mm -hmm. or the Euro pound, which has been very volatile during Brexit times. Of course. If, if, we, if we think about that. Um, and then this was for obviously. Um, I'm not a big fan of trading Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar during the European market time. Um, volatility tends to be below average. Um, obviously, it's a complete different side of, of the thing. Uh, yeah, op complete different um, when when it's 2 a.m., 3 a.m. Um, so then you can go ahead and trade these Asian markets. Um, but if we are trading, and that's what we are usually, that's what we are doing, when we trade the European market opening session or in the afternoon, we concentrate on the markets where a lot of volume is. Mm -hmm. And the big volume yeah. means big volatility. Um, <clears throat> so which markets can be traded with the Swiss box? Again, like we just said, ind index markets, the indices, DAX, NASDAQ, Dow Jones, FTSE. Um, you can also explore others. And then, of course, the main Forex pairs. So, yeah, we tend to stay, not stay away, but yeah, I wouldn't say that the exotic Forex pairs are my favorite markets to trade as they're quite difficult to, to navigate correctly, if we call it that. Um, the, the big idea is when we're trading these markets is that there is, we're making our lives easier. We know exactly when these markets are going to be moving and we know exactly which markets to trade in. We have a rough idea of how much they're going to move, which again is a big benefit when trading with the Swiss yeah, box. Yeah, I have to add that. So if you compare um, indice trading or currency trading, um, the currency trading tends to be longer, which means that when you trade with a Swiss box, uh, with a Vola box, with a blue box, and, and these are the signals we are going to show you uh, in a couple of minutes time that um, you can expect the currency markets to be relatively calm in regards to the DAX, the Dow Jones, which is not a bad thing, literally. It's not a bad thing. It's just that you have to prepare to be in the trade a little bit longer. And for some person, it says, all right, that's fine with me. I don't care. Mm -hmm. um, being in a trade for half an hour, for an hour, absolutely fine. However, there's another one who might be saying, all right, I want to get in and out as quickly as possible. Yes. So if you're more the second type of person, then I would leave out the currency trading. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But of course, try it on a demo account first, right? Yeah, it's all it's all practice to till you find find your own your own comfort zone or where you like to trade best. It all depends again on the on the person that you are. Um, so everyone is different in that way. Um, so a quick overlap of trading hours. Um, so this is just an overview of, of different markets and their opening times. Um, of course, across the other side of the world, pretty much have the opposite times as we do over here, um, of course. So Wellington, New Zealand, Australia, you can expect that from 11 until, what's that, 8 o'clock in the morning. Tokyo, Japan, two hours ahead. Hong Kong, Singapore, an hour ahead of Tokyo. And then, of course, over in Frankfurt, Germany, we have the eight o'clock in the morning. So that eight o'clock is our main opening. That's our first trade of the day. And these are the times that we trade. So anywhere between, you know, an hour, hour and a half in the mornings to an hour and a, an hour and a half in the afternoon. And you should be more than set for 
enough trading time to be able to trade with something like the Swiss box. Yeah, yeah. you were showing an example earlier of the Euro US dollar. And so we have created a template for you, uh, mm -hmm. which is trying to capture the market move between midnight and 8 a.m. in the morning. And, and that's the time when the, awesome. when the Asian traders are stepping out of the market. So they are leaving. Um, yeah, they are, they are leaving the trading floor, so to speak, and the European traders are, are, are coming in. And, and that's usually a time of the day when you can see an increase of volatility. So mm -hmm. noon between 8 a.m. CET time, that yes. would be German. Yeah, so this is, this, is, this is our open, this is our trading time. But of course, across the world, they have the exact same trading times as we do, just in their own time. So there again, it doesn't leave out opportunity for people that maybe, you know, stay up a bit later, wake up later in the day, wake up a lot earlier. There's opportunity pretty much 24 hours a day, five days a week. It is. So um, <clears throat> where was we? So basic requirement. I think we've got this clear basic requirement for trading with the Swiss box yeah. is the volatility. How do we find the volatility? Market openings, news events so on yeah it just the slide is showing us it's an overview it's not the most accurate one not the most latest one but it should give you uh, an idea about the um, average volatility of the market as maurice was saying correctly earlier so when we look at DAX, the DAX is making 120 points every day so if you're going to measure out the distance between the high point and the low point of the DAX, and not just for today or last week, but over the last couple of years, 120 points, that's a average uh, market movement for the DAX. And so we have a nice example here of the CAC Caron, which is a French index and, and the DAX and the, and the Nikkei and the, and the Dow Jones. And so we tend to shy away from the markets like the CAC, like the Spanish index, like the Swiss index, um, so when it comes to European trading, mm -hmm. it's the DAX and the UK. So these yeah. are the markets. We are not even trading the, um, the Euro stocks because the volatility is relatively low. Plus you have a slight higher spread. Um, so it doesn't make it very worthwhile trading, mm -hmm. trading the Euro stocks. Yes, indeed. So yeah, I couldn't okay. put it any better. All right. But do we have, sorry, I'm just double checking the time here. Do we have the other presentation as well? Yes, we do. So that's what I was just looking okay. for here. I think we've come towards the end of this one. So I just want to exit this. Right. So it's live. It's not a, not a ready cut video like no. other coaches are doing. No, so no, whenever no. we do a webinar, whenever we have a, a, a session, it's a live trading session. And I think it's very important to, to mention it because Nowadays, too many yeah, so-called trading experts. These are the guys you can see on YouTube driving around in their crazy red Ferraris and posting these trades when, when they made 10,000 euro a day, which is nice. Would I like to have a Ferrari too? Yeah, my wife is against it, so I can cancel this out. But my point, what I'm trying to say is, they are just posting these trades when everything is shiny and sunny. Mm -hmm. They are not for you every day. And so we are very open. We are very transparent. The club members know that. So we do trade when the sun is shining, but we also trade when it's windy, when it's raining, when the markets are, are showing a very low volatility throughout the month of April for the DAX, for instance. Um, now, finally, in the month of May, volatility is coming back in. Um, but we are here for two for 12 years for 12 not 12 days 12 years trading every day in our live trading room um yeah that that is that is key here okay um yeah so this is actually the, the presentation we wanted to start with with an introduction uh hello maurice your <laughs> english trading coach <laughs> hello christian uh, nice to meet you yeah i'm i'm the ceo here of the company so um yeah we are working along our uh Boss Carlos, mm -hmm. Carlos, he's trading in the German live trading room, day in and day out, and so we are we are we are taking over, right? Yeah, we we we're, we're taking <laughs> over. Um, 
you know we're just starting up the english side so exactly. you know it's uh it's it's a journey as well you know bringing everyone over i've seen how well it's how well it's been going over the years with with where the company was and having now so many german german members who want to take part and you know it just made sense for us to absolutely we were quite surprised by requests from new zealand from australia mm -hmm. and uh, so all right how did they found us and so we thought about all right let's go into that direction and um, let's 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 give them a good service and, and the live trading room and that's what we are doing in the morning hours and in the afternoon when you're trading in your power hour mm -hmm. usually uh, starting at yeah right now usually shortly after starts. three every day Mm -hmm. all right okay so where are we so our trading day at a glance absolutely so when we are coming in with german club members the international club members so we are usually starting at a quarter to nine we are doing a little bit of box trading we are doing or we are talking about um, our daily trading strategy. So that's short for D1 trading, mm -hmm. D1 daily charts, dailies. Um, so um, every every day there will be a new candle in the MetaTrader. And so we, we have an automatic trade radar. We are going to show it to you in a second. Don't worry. Um, and then every day we look at it and the trading strategy tells us directly, is it a signal or if it's not a signal. So we do not make any decisions from, what do you, how do you say, gut feeling? Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, you could say, all right, today I'm going to, I'm long, I'm very bullish. Um, tomorrow you see the same candle, the same chart, where you say, no, nah, I, I do not feel well today. Um, so that's not going to happen in the Traders Club. Uh, we have a fixed rule of sets, and that's what we are sticking to. Um, that's true for box trading, but that's also true for our day trading strategy. So in the morning when we start, we usually have a look on the automatic scanner and, and what are the markets for today giving us um, trading opportunities. And then it's 9 a.m. And uh, yeah, I, I think we mentioned that already. That's the initial start point of uh, the day when the DAX is opening. So we are trading the first market impulse. Then 11 a.m., Maurice, we do have the four-hour signals. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? So the four-hour signals. So the four-hour signals is what it's, again, a different template, a different strategy, and it's what we use to trade on the four-hour time frame. So the four-hour time frame, of course, comes with a longer-term trade. So <clears throat> the smaller the time frame, the shorter of the amount of time that we're looking to get in and out of that time, out of that trade. So the four hour signals again, like the Kiju Zen. Exactly. Kiju Zen. And then we also have another one called the Master Template X, which can be used again, sort of on the lower time frames. Exactly. Exactly. So we'll come to these trading strategies later. And for us as a trade group, it's all about having a, a proper portfolio of, of different mm -hmm. kind of trading strategies, especially if the markets are, are not trendy. So we focus on the Swiss box trading. Um, however, if it's the other way around, then we have very, very good trading signal or very good trading opportunities on the daily basis and on the four hour basis again. But keep in mind the month of April for the DAX it was going in the sideways market most of the time, trying to break out once on the top side, trying to break out once on the bottom side. But that's it. over the month of April, the DAX was pretty much in the sideways range. So we were not getting, and I guess that's just fair to say, we were not getting a lot of uh, day trading signals in the DAX. That's just how the trading strategy works. So it's, is it is it bad that my trading strategy does not produce any signals? No, absolutely not. It wants to protect myself from doing stupid things. Mm -hmm. okay. And it's, um, yeah, going off what you were saying there um, about trading, we we treat trading as we're not we're not these people who are very flashy you know make a few trades make a few hundred thousand buy a ferrari and stuff we treat trading as as it should be treated it's it's a workflow it's a, it's a job um you know people want to be a day trader but they don't see it as a job they see it as you know providing for a lifestyle that they see online so here when we break it down to setting it up as a workflow as a work 
pattern, we then can build a portfolio of all of our kind of trades. And yeah, like we said, we have a whole portfolio of different trades from different different techniques, different time frames. When we see there's no trades on on the on the Swiss box, we can see that there's actually on the daily chart some big trends going on, and we can catch maybe two or three trades um, throughout the day, or you know five six trades throughout the week, and we can also make some profit that way. It's all about bringing bringing it all in together to make a portfolio and a, and a, and a trade plan combined with, you know, successful trading strategy. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, that's a four hour trading strategy at mm -hmm. 11 AM. Then we take, we usually take a break from 12 to two, mm -hmm. um, meaning that we are not trading in that time span of two hours. Uh, again, we have made observations, um, having statistical results that the markets are not doing any crazy stuff in that time period. Um, but of course it could happen any time, yep. which would be uh, as an, as an example, um, the market could drop uh, a quarter past 12 by 200 points. So be it. Um, but that's just a one time event again, um, stuff happens, stuff happens. Absolutely. But usually, um, in that two hour period, the markets are not crazy. So we decided not to risk our money in, in that time span. And we, we, so we are stopping trading. Um, then we are again, starting from, oh, that was a bit oh, too sorry. big. So at 3 PM, that's another opportunity for all those, for our trading or for our traders to, uh, to scan the market with our, uh, trade product kitchen Zen. Um, so every four hours we get a new candle and We'll just press one button and it will tell you the, the signals. And uh, do you mind going one slide back? Yep. Thank I'm you. Just trying to get it up. Sorry. So we scan the, the currency markets, for instance, at 7 a.m., at 11 a.m., and then at 3 p.m. And oh, don't worry, that's all right. And the second one. And another Here one. we go. It's all in German. So sorry, Maurice. <laughs> <laughs> sorry for that. Uh, half an hour later, 3.30, that's a big US market opening. Uh, and it's going to happen in 18 minutes time. So we are very keen to trade that. I can still, I, I can tell you the DAX hasn't moved a lot. So I'm double checking the price of the Dow Jones and our open trade here with one eye. Uh, hasn't moved a lot. Um, so in 18 minutes time when the market opens, then we are definitely going to see some additional volatility. Yeah. And then it's until 5 PM when we call it a day. Um, mm -hmm. so we are still here in the office for one more hour, but, uh, we try to stop our trades at 5 PM usually, except the forward trades or the daily trade. They, they go, they go on, they go on. They have most their, of the times they go on. They, yeah, they have their preset parameters. So. You know, it's, e it's either going to hit our take profit or it's going to hit the stop loss or we come back the next day and it's still in between that gap. So that's, uh, yeah, those, those kind of trades can be left alone to sort of do, make their own pace. Um, the one that requires attention again is our Swiss box trading strategy. Um, so if we move over to the next slide. Yeah. I mean, you were just talking about these so-called YouTube, YouTube traders or mm -hmm. trading experts, which I guess we have seen sooner or later um, on the social media yes, platform. Of course. Um, so when you go on our website, when, when we talk to, to our to our club members, um, so we do follow a very strict philosophy in the traders club. And that's something we call a three part success concept. And the three part success concept. So that's very unique. It, it is offering trading strategies, which we have tested. So nobody out there needs to go out and work with own indicators or with the settings. Um, so we have ready made trading strategies, but we also have trading coaches. Maurice is one of them trading coaches. And these trading coaches are, are taking you by the hand literally mm -hmm. and, and doing trades on the demo account, sometimes on the live account. So we are offering our help. And, and, and the very important thing is the daily live trading room. So in the live trading room, we are 
trading on our real money account. That's yeah. pretty unique, I can tell you. And we are, we, are, we are trying to support you. And I know that there are a couple of club members. They are just doing our trades. So they are yeah. copying our trades, which is fine. Yeah. Um, puts a little bit of pressure on us, to be honest, but, but it's fine. And again, the live trading room, that's, that's the big differentiator to everybody out there who is just yeah, putting down the trading ideas, the trading strategies in a PDF file mm -hmm. or in an ebook that you can find literally on every web page nowadays. And you're going to, or you can download it for free or you yeah. can buy it for a euro. What kind of trading strategy is that? I wonder. Um, again, that's what, that's what our trading philosophy is. And we say, if you're a club member, you're a club member for life. Um, we know that there are some people out there who are still very young, but they do not have a lot of time. On the flip side, there are some retirees mm -hmm. of more time. So what I'm trying to say is one people learn or, or one learns a bit faster than the other and, and so on and so forth. So that's why we told us 12 years ago, once you're a club member, you're a club member for life. Yes. Simple as that. Yes, okay. indeed. So that's the that's the three part success concept. You know, is the, that, that's the, very important. The three things that we provide as um, you know, trading mentors, uh, <clears throat> the successful proven success of the strategies themselves and the tools. So they're proven now for the past twelve years. Uh, every day we record our live sessions on YouTube, so they're all posted up on YouTube like the day after we've done them. Um, again, providing that personal service of you know walking people through the steps, helping them step by step all the way through, um, <clears throat> and then ultimately getting you set up and ready to trade for yourself. Um, I think that's what everyone wants. Everyone wants the freedom to decide their own, their own future in a way. So there's absolutely. Okay. So here we are. Um, so what strategies do we trade? I think we already went through some of this um, earlier. So here's the Swiss box trading tool uh, we've got, which is just plain Swiss box. Uh, we also have one called the blue box. And then you also saw earlier our Vola box. So the Vola box is set with an algorithm, which is searching, searching for these points of interest. Um, of a range of our choosing. So if I say my box is 20 points on the Dow Jones, I want to search for ranges of 20 points, no, no smaller and no bigger. So that's what it will do. The blue box, however, is a little bit different, but more or less the same parameters. We're not, we're not setting the parameters of the size of these, of these boxes or of these uh, suggestions. It's telling us, okay, here we have something which is called a consolidation. So if we say that there's a huge movement in the market, we can see, okay, the market has stopped out for a bit and is going in a sideways movement. And usually from this consolidation after a big movement, we get the sideways movement and then we get another drop or, or a rise back to the top. So this is what our blue box is searching for. These consolidation zones sort of flowing with the market and not trying to pinpoint specifically a point of the market it wants to sort of ride the wave yeah yeah absolutely absolutely um so when, when we thought about creating that Swiss, uh, that blue box uh signal um so we we found out that the markets are usually trading in a very chaotic way or in a very balanced way and both it's very difficult to trade in both but if you are trying to catch the corner um, of a chaotic to the to the balanced way and the other way around, then that gives you um, very decent trading opportunities. And if you could click uh, once or twice until we have that uh, blue box signal um, coming up, Maurice, um, we'll see in a good example here that um, the blue box is as well an algorithm and uh, you're very quick today um, <laughs> is an algorithm showing you automatically in the MetaTrader chart specific boxes and these boxes are blue. So that's why it's called blue box. Yep. Makes sense. So sometimes um, when the market graduates around in, in a market price, 
you have a you have a larger box like the one on the top left corner it's over 40 points large between so the between the bottom and the high um, and then the next blue box is just 15 and a half points and the next one is over 40 points again and and so on and so forth sometimes you have these nested boxes um, so when we look out for these blue box trading signals we have a a very clear understanding of what boxes we should trade and what boxes not to trade. Um, it's the box size which matters to us. Um, it's also the market action in in that box. Um, so if it's going up and down, up and down, if you have, um, as Maurice was saying correctly, if you have a support or resistance in the box, um, then that helps. Um, but we are usually, and we see in this example, the DAX, so DE30C, on the M1 time frame. So on the smaller time frames, we tend to trade boxes up till 20 points, maximum 25 points. So do we trade the first box? Clearly, you know. The box yes, size right, and right. the time frame, they don't match. Do we trade the second box with 15 and a half points? Absolutely. That's a perfect trading signal. Uh, do we trade the next boxes over 40 points again? A clear no. Um, these blue box signals, um, they can be traded on the DAX, they can be traded on the Dow Jones and the major currency markets as well. So this is just another additional trading signal um, along the big number and along the volar box we do have on the next slide. Um, here we do see very nicely again that whenever the market gets into the volar box um, the market is going to leave that area very very quickly um, we cannot tell you if the market is going to to rise or to fall mm -hmm. it would be nice but we can't honestly. we can definitely pinpoint the areas in which we expect the market to make that movement up exactly. or down but whether or not it's going to go up or down Again, we don't have a crystal ball. We can't tell the future and neither can anyone else. So that's the main thing. Why, why stress ourselves out believing that we can even figure it out? Because yeah. it's, again, yeah, extremely difficult. We, we don't, we don't. So when we work with our partner brokers like Marcus and GBE, so we have some sort of information where many orders um, are located at, at what crucial price area. And so this algorithm gives you the information or displays the information directly for you in the chart. So whenever you see a volar box on your demo account over the next couple of days, you can compare it with the, yeah, with the support and resistance, mm -hmm. the daily high point or a low uh, point. And uh, so for us, the volar box trading strategy is a, yeah, it's our premium trading strategy. So notwithstanding, we do have other trading strategies as well. So this is all Swiss box. And on, on the next slide, we have a- Definitely a, my favorite. Definitely your favorite, yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm <laughs> a very impatient person, so I like I like the action <laughs> of, of being in the trades. I see. Um, but yeah, again, not everyone is the same. So we, we, we cater for all kinds of traders here. As we said, we have a portfolio of our own in which, you know, creates that workflow for our trading day. And it consists of not just the Swiss box, but again, master template X. So counter trend strategies. This is typical swing trading, you could call it. Um, and again, this is providing sort of signals in the chart of which where we should place these these trades again coming away from the Swiss box now where the Swiss box is not a directional trading tool, it's a volatility trading tool. And it's pretty much the only one of its kind. And then we go directly back into the typical way of trading, directional trading. Yeah, so before we come to the master template, there's just a question here from Mike, Mike from Mallorca. Um, so do we have the same take profit when trading the blue box? Um, then as a regular Swiss box. Um, yeah, the take profit of a blue box depends on the size of the blue box. So the larger the blue box, the farther away yep. the, the take profit is. However, the larger the box, the smaller 
the initial position size. Um, so, frankly, it's all relative it, to the size of the box. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if the 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 take profit is always set relative to the size of our box anyway. So, you know, if you have the recommended basic settings of a Swiss box, you know, the take profit is always the same distance away from your box as the box itself. So, again, if your box is 15 points, then that means that your take profit will be 15 points away. Um, so again, if you're taking a box with 40 points, you can expect your take profit to be another 40 points above that or below. Um, hence why, again, you would not take such a big box trade in something like the DAX. Um, yeah, it's, it's all relative to the size of the box itself. It is, it is. So I'm, again, I'm, I'm checking the time here, 3.25. So just real quick, the master template, as Maurice was saying, the swing trading strategy, indicator based. We traded on the M5 timeframe and we traded for 12 years continuously in our live trading rooms. So the master template trading strategy is actually the oldest trading strategy we use in the traders club. So we look at a set of three fixed rules here. Um, we do have a red sun, that's a swing high. And whenever we see a, the red sun in the chart, we only look out for, for short-term entries. Whenever we see the blue sun on the very bottom, as you can see here, we only look for long-term trends, um, so, for, so for rising markets. So that's one key here. But just trading with the sun indicator alone, it's not profitable. So we are using the Heiken Ashing candles as well, red and blue in this example. And the second rule is that after a for instance, blue sun have appeared in the market. Um, we need a blue candle closing outside of these brownish market bands on the top side with body of the candle and with the closing price of the candle. And again, it's a five minute candle. So every five minutes, we'll see a new candle in the charts appearing. Um, so that's rule number two. And the third rule is down, there's something which is called a trade signal indicator. And again, it's changing its colors from blue to red, black to blue, and so on and so forth. And whenever you have a change of color, you see the arrow, and that's um, highlighted by the green pinpoint in the chart. And the green pinpoint tells you exactly when all of these trading signals are aligned. Um, so we just look out for the daily pivot. Um, so looking out meaning that our take profit should not be beyond the, the daily pivot. So the daily pivot can be very far away or it can be in my back, but it should, shouldn't be in the area of our take profit because it's usually giving me a little bit of a resistance. So again, when all of these trading signals are aligned, then we can do a trade and we do the trade with a trade manager, which again is an extra tool provided by the Trades Club on the right hand side. And uh, the trade manager's main duty is to calculate the perfect position size for your trade. Too many trades are just saying, all right, I'm going to do a trade with a lot or with five lot or with 10 lot, regardless of where the stop loss is. And we do not expect you to, to have the calculator right next to your computer to calculate the position size for each trade. So that's done by the trade manager. And that's a five minute trading strategy. Again, it's available for you on your risk fee demo account. And maybe we can talk about it if, if you would like. So um, next week in the live trading room, absolutely. And then here we do see the Kijun Sen for our trading strategy or just in short for our trading strategy. And we do have a trade rider on the left hand side, a couple of indicators and on the right hand side, a trade manager, very similar trading strategy. Uh, a bit different trading rules, uh, but very similar. And on the next slide, we have to hurry up. I'm, I'm very sorry about it. On the next slide, we do see the daily trading strategy. Again, with the sun, with the hike and Ashi. And I'm more than happy, or we are more than happy to talk you through next week. But now we'll have to bring in the meta trader back again. Yep. Um, just a couple of seconds before the market opening and the market has to digest these very, very poor numbers from the non-farm payroll announcement so, I'm... so right here i'm going to make a trade right there on the big number again a point of interest yep. for us indeed um 
we also have that volo box which is set down here in the bottom of our chart and again another big number point of interest for us on the other chart so we can see here actually we still have our trade running from earlier um, again just adjusting that take profit can make a lot of difference after we get through a few trades and here comes the market so there's the opening directly at the at half past and then if we see that the market is definitely making its way we can even just adjust that very so slightly and as you see it ever so slightly makes a much bigger difference to our trades so we'll just wait for this one absolutely and so we'll have to we'll have to mention something um, because so usually when that kind of trade happens when the market um, oscillates around a big number or is trading in a sideways market we do have the option or you do have the option um, to press a hedge button so we were talking about shall we speak about hedging during the webinar and we decided to say no because everybody's seeing it in the in the power hour afterwards but to be honest you're a master of going into hedges and you're a master of releasing the hedges <laughs> that goes hand by hand that that's key here um, and the reason why you get into into hedges a lot is obviously the smaller box size which mm -hmm. but you explained that before very well yes. that you're more like a it requires a lot of attention so attention something we didn't have today but mm -hmm. so today it's been a bit difficult i've been watching i've been looking at the yeah. at, at you guys quite at the questions and going through the presentation here so i haven't had the chance to keep an eye on the market so as we can see it's gone come along quite a way and we can see how it's just sort of moved sideways along this area normally what we would do is we would we would do something which is called a hedge um which i could probably show you on let's take this trade for an example let's say that we're in a bad situation we can actually just press this button here which is called a hedge once we press it you can see that the take profit is has disappeared from our chart so what it's done is it's equalized the amount of buy and sell power on each side meaning that it's not going to go into a bigger minus than one euro or a bigger plus now the next part is we have three three options here sorry again it's in gem we have two pending orders a buy order and a sell order so this means that we can that we'll go through an example again let's say that this here or the big number let's say that this fibonacci line here is a very strong area where we would like to release and we expect the market to go up we can actually prepare ourselves for the market to reach that area and as soon as it reaches that area we can press the buy button and what happens is there we reopen our box with a buy and the take profit now we can see is at the top so it's a few different options in which we have to to release so like we can see here the market is now going through very bad situations so a lot of people what they will do is they will make a hedge here and they hedge the position and what it does now it keeps your account safe from going into any yeah. further danger in yeah. or out so no matter we can leave this for a day we can leave it for two days we can leave it now until monday morning and then in monday afternoon session on the us opening i can then release that trade that's a nice cliffhanger for next week isn't it <laughs> um, but but again so um the danger of, of of trading that way is obviously that the market is going into sideways market and again this is live today um so that happened usually we are we are a bit careful we are monitoring the market a bit more closely not talking about uh, any trading presentations here no um, so that's our fault to be honest but um but it's good it, that you get a great overview right. of what what can happen in the markets um as yeah normally we would hedge that until later on and then we can look at a release there so now i know for monday afternoon i have a hedge release to take care of and as you can see it's at a big a big drawdown it's called so that means that we're in an overall minus but at, until this point it's not out of our account so this can be released again uh, like christian was saying in the, in the power hour in my live trading room we experienced a lot of this going into hedges and getting out and i'm sure once you come along that you'll actually notice or our club members will even tell you that yeah. this is we've actually just released a hedge of this size 
bigger than this size last week. So, yeah, yeah. If if you're having issues with with your heart pressure or with your blood pressure, <laughs> then you can avoid that by using a larger box. Of it, obviously. Yes. So trading the Dow Jones with a twenty point box, as you were saying below, that is something you do specifically you. Yeah. Um, so we we tend to use a, a slightly higher box. I'm not sure if that would have made the difference here, but um, we all have a certain amount of trades available based on a few settings. The settings are the account balance, the settings yes. of the box size, the settings um, like we see here, um, 0 0.038 as a risk and the target of 0 0.076 points. So if if you are adjusting these parameters, uh, you will have, for instance, a larger amount of, of overall trades capable of doing. And so we are more than happy to guide you through um, in the live training room of course. or on the or in a one on one session next week to give you a recommendation of a specific setting for a specific market. That being said, the US market opening, that's usually um, a great start into the afternoon trading. Uh, didn't happen at 3.30 sharp. Um, now the market, it looks like it's coming up again, at least in NASDAQ and trying to reach. So there it is. And that's out, of the, out of the trade. So it's a shame about the other trade here, as we can see, it would have come out. So it's always the case. Of course, we do get that breakout. It's just making sure that we have enough chances to get in and out of it. Yeah. Um, so yeah, as you said, this is a great example of, you know, what we're trying to avoid when we're trading with the Swiss box is we're trying to avoid this, this situation right here where you, we can see it's just going sideways. It's triggering our trades either side and it's not actually making that movement. So that is, you know, actually a very good example. And I'm happy that it happens often. Yeah in the live trading room as it gives a biggest perspective for everyone inside. There's, al there's also something positive to look at that way. And um, so in the German live trading room, so we do have uh, approximately or slightly over 2000 German members trading every day. And as, as you can, um, or as, as you know that every, so we all use the same tools, the same trading strategy, but the slight, slight variations box size, the risk settings, the account balance. Some of them have a high leveraged account. The other one have just a regular leverage account. So the approach of each individual of how he's using our training tools is a bit different. And yes. whenever we, and there's one, um, his name is Heiko. He loves to look out for exactly these scenarios like we were just seeing on, on the Dow Jones. Mm -hmm. So because uh, or he's very unhappy if the first trade triggers his take profit. The reason is that his take profit is very small in, in, in the. He uh, likes in to the, extend it. In, in the, uh, yeah, in the percentage. And, and so he doesn't like to be out of the first trade. He doesn't like to be out in the second trade. He's actually waiting for a market to to no. trade sideways and then he's looking at it um, like, like, like a bottle of champagne. So you shake it well enough and sooner or later it, it will pop and then he's looking to trade that pop and that prop it's not just making seven points or seven and a half points, not 10 points or 20 points, but it's giving him um, a, a, um, uh, a larger amount of take profit. Um, yeah. So he has obviously less trading signals or he's trading less than we do in our live trading room, which is approximately 10 to 20 trades per day. He's doing it less, but he's waiting for these scenarios where the market is just unsure about whether it should rise or fall. Mm -hmm. So, um, and that's a good thing. Um, so you start with a very small risk, with a very small position size. And then you love the situation where the market's going to to go sideways and it's 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 kind of loaded and then and then it pops away. So okay. But yeah, again, it's live and um so where are the markets now? Um so Dow Jones 34,555. We 
are looking to get into a Vola box very, very soon. Um, and the NASDAQ so it's gone past the Vola box. Marks are coming back up. And it's coming all the way back up as it did once before. So huge lift off there. Yeah. So shame that we just missed that over the yeah. course of not having so many trades left. However, as we can see, much bigger progression. It's a nice reversal in here. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Most definitely. Yeah. So yeah, as we were saying earlier, Volobox, great signals for us. And here we've got a great overview of what's been going on. We can see currently three trades close. We're already you know, quarter of a percent profit for the day, 42 euros. And that's a, that's a, that's still a good day for anyone. Absolutely. And I'm just thinking about why the market is now rising again. So uh, if you're interested, so there has been a discussion about raising inflation rates mm -hmm. in the U S um, but also here in Europe um, over the last couple of weeks. And whenever you have rising inflation or fears of rising, you know, fears of inflation, mm -hmm. um, you have to raise the interest rates to fight it off. And so if the NFP numbers like today, they are very coming in very poor. That means that it is not, un, it is not likely, it is not likely that the interest rates are going to, to be risen mm -hmm. over the next couple of months. So that's reverse psychology, I guess. Um, but yeah, so if numbers are bad, that's good for the stock market. Yes. That's what we are seeing here right now and the Definitely. Dow Jones um, maybe if you could show the, the 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 larger time frame maybe on the daily chart here so we are on the very very high level um, and definitely. we've seen an all-time high earlier today so this I mean if we take a look brilliant. on the, a very high time frame here we can see exactly what Christian said you know bad bad times follow um, some for some reason the markets have good good times through those of course, right at the beginning of uh, Corona was right here. So the, the announcement that a lot of cr countries were closing down, of course, it was only natural for the stock market to drop as well as the Dow Jones across all markets yeah. had pretty much the same thing happen. Um, and then over this whole period where people have been in lockdown and, you know, getting sick, you know, for some reason, we can see a very sharp rise in, in, in the market here. For a number of reasons, of course, maybe like yourselves, many people around the world at this time have a bit more spare time. A lot more people are engaging in the markets. There's, um, you know, it's it's very it's a very good time to be trading indeed. I mean, just a few, if we look a few years ago, very slow profits over this course of three years here. So if we actually measure that out, we can say, okay, from here, in 2011 all the way up until 2015 was that four years we can see that we had a maximum movement of what 70 is that 7,000 or 77,000 but then if we look over the just in the last year here we can see that there's also been a huge yeah rise. very very steep and question now is uh, is it too steep is, it, is that is that market movement is and it going to help you one point um, Maybe today's NFP numbers were maybe an indication that the U.S. economy is not up and running as as, as most people hoped. Um, but we are still on an all-time high trading. We've seen all-time high trading today, so we don't want to jinx it, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, but whenever you see the market rising so steep, you, you got to be careful. That's for sure. And um, Again, we love to trade on an intraday basis. We love to trade short term and not to have too many risk in the market, having positions overnight or over the weekend. Um, so we usually like to close our trades um, yeah, on, on the same day. And so uh, we'll just react to the, to the impulses in the market. All right. What course. about gold, by the way? So now that we are seeing that so gold had its big rise again gold starts a bit earlier on compared yep. to the rest of the u.s opening so those of you from the from the live room i see that we've actually got one or two members in here too so you know when we're trading gold yeah the the movement comes 
maybe 15 minutes before the opening most days anyway mm -hmm. and then we also get a bit of movement around the opening however nfp day has always been a very important day on gold um and we saw that very clearly there so 24 dollars of movement there um yeah that's that's very nice very nice oh. indeed yeah um yeah, I just wanted to show everyone over here the the one of the other strategies that we were going through. So the higher time frame for the people that might not have all the time in the world to trade is our is here. It's called Tiger strategy, daily strategy, um, and again, it's in a way it 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 is a trade radar. It is providing us with signals similar to the Volabox, but the Volabox is working exclusively with the Swiss box, just like the daily strategy works exclusively with the trade manager so <clears throat> absolutely i mean now that you have it open uh do my clicking on on that on the roundish button on the on the left hand side um oh yeah yeah just to show everybody how we could add new markets so uh when you have that on your meta trader it comes with a with a basic set of of markets like the dax or Dow jones and the major currencies but you could also go ahead and, and, and drag and drop the market from the left-hand side from the market watch into the area where you see the plus. So you just press the left mouse button. You so let's see, let's yeah. see a market that's not in. So we can see that the yeah. Switzerland 20, for an example, we can drag and drop that and we can put it in. And then we've got that also in our, in our peripheral. So. Yeah, so you can create your own set of markets if you will. And, and, and once that's done, again, you can press on that button and then two buttons left, there's a roundish one and it's going to scan the market for you. And that's something we do every morning. Um, we, we say it, it just takes two minutes of your day for 10% yeah. for That's year. all it, that's all yeah. it takes. You know, it's as simple as seeing the markets here with the signal, you click the round button, you say, yes, yes, click, click, put your settings in. And then you go to the next one, you see, okay, there's another signal here. In theory, as simple as that, you just go through, you see which ones are, are the ones to take. Um, of course, here we can see that the market is actually moving in a very strong trend line up. Maybe we yeah. wouldn't want to commit to a short position on the market. And then we can actually just look for ourselves. So here there was a great sell signal already completed well, well, yeah, in profit. Yeah, so that was every, where... every candle is a day. So it's... Yeah. So they, they can go on for a while. It's not going to be an in and out trade. You'll have time to enjoy the trade feeling as well. You know, you can make place the trades in the morning as you sit down to do your work at the office before you leave the house. And then you can always, you know, check back when you have a coffee break. You're not going to be going into crazy numbers. Um, as we can see here, we've actually got our stop losses set. The blue line is our take profit. We've got our set uh set loss and profit targets so we know okay how much am i prepared to lose worst case scenario from this trade or any trade and you say okay the maximum i want to lose is you know half a percent or 0.2 percent you set that in and you know it's in your head safe that you're not gonna be losing any more than what you're comfortable with losing at the end of the day absolutely and yeah. even more important the trade manager again it calculates calculates hmm the perfect position size for your based on your settings mm -hmm. so very important if, yeah if the stop loss is, is farther away the mm. position size should be smaller than and the stop loss is, is, is closer of... to your point of entry then the position size could be larger in both cases you're losing the exact same amount of money one of one of the biggest issues that a lot of um, new members say to me is they you know when they want to learn how to trade is they've already you know had some experience trading on the markets however you know we go back and see what's happened they're coming to us because they've lost we have a look and we see what's been going on and the main the main case is the fact that there's the risk management is not correct due to your account size you know if you have account size of a of a thousand euros you're never going to be making the same profit as someone who has a hundred thousand euros so someone who has a hundred thousand euros but might be committing to trades with like two, three, four, ten lots big. But however, you know, the trade manager is here to calculate all of that in for us and also to st help us bring it back and down to earth and say, OK, well, what's a realistic target profit for a trade? 
you know, is it, is it, it's not 5%. That's an unrealistic target for a trade. So you bring it down, you say, okay, my target profit is 0.2% from this trade, 0.1%. And then you, t you type it in to the manager here. You say, okay, I want my target profit to be 0.02%. And then you can see over here to gain that 0.02%, we're risking 0.2% of our account. And there's the lot size is one. And there's the take profit and there's a stop loss. Everything is there done yeah. for you. Exactly. It's an example. So when we are using the trading strategy daily or the four hour trading strategy, we obviously have a clear recommendation for you where to set the stop loss, what, uh, what is the risk percentage wise of that trade and, and, and where's the take profit. Absolutely. Talking about take profit. If you don't mind, uh, if you don't mind changing to the Dow Jones again on the small We've just seen the all-time high, all-time high in the Dow Jones. So, brand new all-time high right there. Yeah. So we actually hit the all-time high for the last few days now. However, the all-time high was right before NFP, and now we've actually shot yeah. straight back up and created a brand new all-time. Yeah, high. it looks like the bad NFP numbers. A eh? It's great for volatility and it's great for traders all alike. Um, but as an example, you can see right here. So for a trader who says, I think that we're going to get all, new all time highs today, I'm going to go long. Something like the NFPs coming along, we, we've got great numbers expected, million people with new jobs. Okay, so that's definitely going to yep. pump the market up further. Small mistake on the numbers, the predictions were wrong. And look at that. So if you've got a buy trade around here, you would have been straight out and then you would have you would have closed it because you see the market going down and as soon as you close it what happens the market goes straight back up again so this is the really annoying part for a lot of traders and trading directional um when really we need to be trading breakout and volatility all right yeah good stuff all right guys um i see a lot of new guests in here Couple of club members also, but 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 some new faces again. Um, do you have any questions? So over the next five minutes before we are finished with our extended power hour this afternoon, is there anything you would like to know? Um, and again, it wasn't our intention to show you the hedge. Pressed it. That's what the markets are. Nice upward trend afterwards. So that is a perfect market movement. Um, you also seen the the volar boxes here in the chart, and again, when the market goes into the volar box, that's where we place our trap, and the market is going to leave that area very very quickly. Um, but let me take a look here at the questions. Um, yeah, there's one from James in here for you, Maurice. Okay. Uh, it's how long have you been trading with, with that kind of trading strategy, and what is your daily target? Okay, Help so um, yeah, I've been trading now for just over five years. Um, yeah, so I started a, a long time ago before I was in Germany. And yeah, I started because I needed, you know, a, a little bit of extra pocket money just to supplement, you know, normal, normal things, go out for a nice meal, buy <laughs> new clothes, you know, go out on dates, whatever it is. Um, but I was also very interested in you know, learning more about it as, you know, you see all of this online and you, you want to know, it's interesting, you want to learn more about it. So, yeah, it's been just over five years now. Um, I've been using these trading strategies for maybe two, two years, three years or so, um, before I started uh, working here, of course, helping everyone else understand the tools. I was actually using these tools myself and, yeah, I, I love them. Yeah, it makes my life as a trader so much easier. Um, as I said, we don't, I don't need to know what direction. I, it's like a, half of the work is already done for me. Brilliant, brilliant. So, and, and your daily target? So the daily targets, um, yeah, daily targets, but half a percent a day, but up to 1% a day. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we do more, sometimes we do less, like today a little bit less. However, today wasn't focusing on trading. Today was focusing more on showing you guys what it's about. Um, but yeah, we also have a, between 10 and 20 yeah. trades maximum every day. Also. And, and the most 
popular market uh, we are focusing on or we are trading? So, yeah, um, I trade uh, a few few markets. So I trade mainly Dow Jones, Nasdaq, DAX, FTSE and gold. I also have one Forex pair of New Zealand dollar, US dollar as a referral, as a reference um, pair. But um, yeah, Christian does a lot more Forex pairs also in the morning. So for the European opening, um, yeah, I'm very comfortable in, in the ones that I'm trading. Um, yeah, we don't have to trade every single market. Um, sometimes it works better if you hone your skills onto a specific few. Yeah, yeah. All right. And all right. Uh, I hope that answer, uh, that question has been answered, James. Um, Hopefully. Then there is one from Peter. Uh, Peter from, where is he? from Copenhagen. All right. Okay. All right. Dennis. Dennis Dynamite in here. Uh, Peter is asking um, how to get access to the live trading room. So uh, okay. that's pretty simple. Um, I've got a thing up here, actually. I'm just, just typing it in. Oh, there it is. So here's the website. Yep. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I think you should. You've gained access to this. So I'm guessing you also have access to our website, uh, tradersclub24.com. Um, best way to uh, get access to the live room. Again, we have the event here, which you've come through. And then we also have success concept trading rooms. If you want access to the trading rooms, you just sign up on the 30 day three trial email name and number. Once you've done that, you should if I just come in. I just come in with my my guest account. Uh, Not everybody knows your email address, <laughs> right? <laughs> Are you uh, aware of your password now? Yeah, <laughs> let's hope so. Hopefully. Sorry. Right. So this is just a this is just a uh, like fake account. So this is just to see right. what everyone else sees. So this comes in as a normal guest access. Um, once you've got guest access and you signed up on the website, you should um, you should come over to this screen. So this is your members area profile. This is where you have your live trading room with Christian in the mornings. Here's the time from 8.45 until 11. And then you also have the one with myself from 3.15 until half past four, four o'clock is usually when that ends. So <clears throat> this is kind of your access point for everything as part of Traders Club 24. Once you get access, you have all your media library, stuff like this webinar will also be posted in here. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah? Um, exactly. So we do have a webinar with Christoph explaining his everything. special double box strategy. So that's pretty unique, I can tell you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the website, the answer is the website. Yes. So it, <laughs> everything that we do, we, we You're host, welcome. Yeah. We, we host many, many webinars, again, describing yeah. different focusing on special pieces of strategies and they're all posted and recorded in here. Um, yeah, everything yeah. is available. You can schedule an appointment with your trading I, coach. Yeah, I have one more question coming in from Thomas here. Okay. Thomas asking, what about the open trade? So are you going to stick to it until Monday? Is that the cliffhanger? Uh, okay, so the oh. one, one second, where is it? So yeah, the, the, the hedge trade. Yeah. So yes, that's, that's well and truly hedged now until Monday. Um, we could have released it here earlier as the market is pushing up its way, but yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not focusing on that right now. Otherwise. Okay. Yeah. Okay. If you want to see Maurice trading well, and I can tell you he's, he's a great trader and unless he wasn't, he wouldn't be working for us, uh, um, come and join. Well, in, yeah, in his power hour on, on Monday afternoon. We can so actually that's... go to the last month here. Yeah. I can show you from this month so yeah, far. Yeah. What are we in? Seven days, one week in. Oh, so that's big, big there. I hope I do not sit in the picture here. Let me. I was just show it, trying to get up exactly how much was there. So we've committed to quite a few trades so far this month. Um, we've had a hedge again, and we've made very well to get out of that hedge that we was in so that's, so that's the last month that's just over yeah. the last month so yeah 1100 uh profit so far um but 
yeah, again, very, very aggressive stance compared to usual. But this is something that you can expect inside the power hour. And that's, you yeah. know, a lot of our members enjoy it. Um, if they can keep up, of course, we go slower for as yeah. much as Yeah, let can. me, so I, I'll go much slower in the morning. Um, I'm just sticking to the trading signal and then the afternoon it's some sort of a, of a turbo, mm -hmm. uh, so to speak. And uh, yeah, that's why it's called power hour. All right. It's One 4 p.m. Here, here in Germany. The week is almost over. Um, thanks very much, Maurice. Thanks very much for the club members and the guests here in the live trading room. I hope you like the extended version of the Power Hour with the NFP um, and is, is specifically um, giving you a good overview of not only the Swiss box trading strategy, but also um, the other trading strategies that we do have on hand. If you are keen to give it a try on a risk-free demo account, then Maurice, what do they have to do? Sign up on the website for a 30-day free trial and yeah, schedule an appointment with myself um, through the schedule an appointment area. You can pick your own time whenever you're free and yeah, it will yep. say which days are available. Just set it up or send an email. We also even make it so easy that you even can send a WhatsApp message can you All right. on the website whatsapp skype directly to me or one of the other coaches here and you can actually um speak yeah in direct contact with us whenever you have any without questions. any commitment so the 30-day yeah. trial ends automatically yeah uh, at the so end of the period once and we've started the 30-day trial it finishes after yeah. the 30 days um usually people will get in contact with me and they'll say hey man uh, the, my charts have gone what's going on my demo account has got no more tools right. on there. The 30 days is up. You know, it's it, something that you have to test out for yourself. You have to tell us whether it's something that you would like to take part in. Um, again, obligation free. Yeah. What but, happens after the trial? That's one question here again from James. What happens after the trial? You can become a member of Traders Club 24. Um, yeah, all of our members are lifetime members. Uh, yep. Yeah. And you get access to everything that we have all of our webinars, yeah. our live trading room, learning materials, um, access to personal supporting coach, everything is included. Good stuff, brilliant. Thanks again. And we are leaving this week with the Dow Jones right now at an all time high. Mm -hmm. um, thanks very much for joining. And yeah, we'll hope to see you, you guys uh, the next week in the, in, the, in the power hour or in the morning live trading room. Yes. Thank All the you best. Very Have much. a great weekend. Bye bye. Bye.